on guys, it's Big Friday. You will know this is my favorite day of the week. Today is special though because it's the first day that I've decided to produce a YouTube video for you. It's something I've spoken about loads of times, wanting to give you guys a bit more of an insight into my day, the things that I get up to, some of the struggles, some of the good bits, the bad bits, um, lots of lessons to be learned. And what we're going to do is we're going to head to the gym. I'm going to show you a bit of me training, a bit of me kicking up, but I don't really know where I want to go necessarily with everything that I'm going to be putting on this YouTube channel. But I felt like today I just needed to start. I've talked about it for ages, like I said, and I think the more and more you talk about something, the less and less likely that it's going to happen. So I've watched loads of YouTube channels and I always think it's mental because there's someone behind the camera and you don't ever get an insight into who they are. So I want to intro my cameraman today. Adam's from Kilo Creative. He is an absolute badass with the camera. So he's hopefully going to be helping me get some cool shit for you guys. Yeah, I'm excited. First day. Let's see uh, what he can come up with. The guy we're training with later today as well. It's called the Animal Kid. And he's an absolute nutter. <laughs> Australian weightlifter. He lifts more than me which is good. Half the time I'm train, not training with people that are lifting more than me. And you kind of set like a, a barrier of what you deem is good. Whereas at the moment I've been training with this guy, Aaron, and he lifts like 20, 30 kilos more than me. So my weights have all of a sudden started to not seem heavy. It's been really good getting, especially getting back into some sort of like level of training because I went through a period of where training was my main focus, training nine times a week. And now I'm training maybe two hours a day, four or five times a week. Just purely because my focus has become more around like coaching side of things and not so much around my personal training. So I think having that training partner is helping me sort of be accountable and push and lift more than what I'm doing at the moment. Give me a second, I'm trying to select the appropriate weapon. Uh, watch where you step in, them snakes all around, you know they're connected. Uh. I guarantee if you speak to that guy, him there in the short. He will be a tourist. He is on City Mapper working out where he's going. Look again, here you go. English. You know, you know that thing that like motorbikers do when they see another person yeah. in a like on a motorbike and they go, and yeah. God like <laughs> this is the same. You wear shorts, someone else is wearing shorts on a cold day, they're like I'm always aware if you come with position. I just hold out to the perfect condition. Coming alive. So I found this gym in when I was over here on tour three months ago. And it's just like the best looking, sickest lighting. Sickest lighting. Vince, the guys that own the gym are super cool. I just like hanging out with them. I'm like part of the furniture. So I just hold out to the perfect condition. Coming alive. Whoa. 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 It's not as exciting as I think people think sometimes, people don't understand that it's not always just, you know, showboating, traveling the seminars and living the dream. It's half the time sat here thinking of ideas, responding to emails. You know, like you always have your one password that you have when you're a kid. Yeah. Mine's, no, I can't respond that. <laughs> Sunny is a dude at hotmail.com. Everyone always has a weird one. What was yours? Mine, um... So you guys have kind of just jumped in on my favorite day of the week, Big Friday. This has become a thing over, I guess, the course of the last five, six years, training um, at my gym in Empire with my old coach, Andy Suter. And we would always say that Friday was the big training day of the week. That's where we'd be going for all our heaviest lifts. Um, and it's kind of just stuck with me. For some reason now on a Friday, I wake up, I'm super excited to go in and attempt new weights, new PBs, things I haven't done before. Um, and I don't know, it's just stuck with me now and it's a thing. So we're gonna be doing that later on and going to train at a different gym where we can drop weights. I'm like, yeah, you Jay Z come by, nigga slap me five on the black hand side of the seat. Monster isn't accessible, this is an absolute must. Total war. Don't you find though with any pre workout energy drink, they always have crazy names. Look at this one Rainbow Candy. Rainbow fucking candy. Hold on, it gets better. Sour gummy bears. Cheers, yeah, see you later. We have now got lots of caffeine. They're all just go mad now. It's like the crazier they can call it, 
the like more likely people are gonna buy. It's like, okay, we'll call this poison or toxic waste. Like, that's obviously not good for you, but it's like, okay, if this is gonna get me closer to potentially dying through caffeine intake, then sweet. If all else fails, you have a shit session, you just like this. <laughs> yeah. Post session gun. Get out my way, ho. On Big Friday, I start like thinking about what I want to do in my training session. I decided yesterday that like the sort of target for today's session was to do a double clean and jerk, 170 kilos. Now, I've done that loads of times before, but not of recent. You still have to get hyped up for it, even if it's not like a PB or a weight that you've never done before. And just by doing that, you start to get into the mode of training, regardless of what's gone on in my day. Some days, especially when, you know, I've had a lot going on with work or lots of email shit. For me, just by having five minutes before training to get my head in the game is really good because you can just clear away all of that bad shit and then when we walk in the door you kind of just switch off and then you're in training mode and it's really important that you do that if you kind of carry your stresses of the day into the gym then you've already fucked your session up so yeah we stay positive we stay happy visualize what's going to happen then execute should we um get a quick uh pre-workout massage. I'm sure they do friendly back rubs in there. Hey, uh, hold up, man. I, I got something to say, man. Wait. What y'all out here for, man? What you here for, huh? Does your life matter? Does your life matter? You ready for this? You ready to take control? We're heading down to the dungeon now. This place is old school. It reminds me of my first gym that I ever trained at. Um, not my first gym, but the first proper gym I trained at, Empire, where we used to train like this old church. Water used to come in from the ceiling, spit and sawdust. But when you enter it on a Friday, you just know that you're going to be doing some fucking serious training. You always know when you're training with Aaron, because look, he set everything out. Plates, weights, bars. My legs still a little bit sore from yesterday's squats. We did back squats yesterday. I'm a little bit sore, but for me, I'll always feel much better lifting if my muscles are a little bit tight anyway, so don't worry too much about that. That drop out of school wave Don't be a full wave Stop being a slave For minimum crew wage Graduate and try your luck Couple thousand for them books What you got a desk job Or a sex job Boy you still getting f Oh, oh Quit it now Break the pillars down I don't fall in love I just hit it now She said why is that I just gave her fast Gave my heart up once And I ain't get it back Turn it to a savage Happy with the man That's sick of living broke Trying to find a balance Moving through the pain But they said he found him Bearing all my fruits Feeding my battalion Take it fast you can take it slow, we don't take no breaks, we just take control
coming into this session, I said to you, I was walking to the gym, I wanted to do one set for two. I've done that in ages, right? And going up the 160, the 165, they're a little bit ropey, they weren't as clean as I normally would have them, but I'll always video my lifts so I can watch them back, because even if like it feels like it's super hard and heavy, when you watch the video back, you think it feels so much harder than it actually looks, it gives you that little bit of confidence you need sometimes to put on the extra weight or to go for the lift you haven't done already. So I put 170 on, did that first rep, and it was clean, but I stepped back from the bar, and I was like assessing my energy levels, and I was like, I'm not sure I've got what I'm gonna need to do the second rep, and I was like, this all happens in the space of like two seconds, but I was like, am I gonna be able to do it? No, I can't do it, you can do it. You go, you're back and forth with your conscience, and I was just like, right, I can do this, step to that bar, and then you've just gotta switch off the emotional side of lifting, you know? It's like so easily when you're up with these heavy weights and you're toying with whether you can or not, can't do it, the emotional side kicks in. You put that to one side, and I just decided that I had to just tighten up every little aspect of that lift, it would happen. So it is. <laughs> Feels good not missing a lift in training. <laughs> Sometimes like knowing when to finish a session on a high, even when you feel like you can do more, leaving it and going, work really hard, done what I needed to do today, and leaving injury free, yeah. no miss lifts is better than maybe lifting five kilo more, potentially hurting yourself, potentially missing lifts and ruining your day. It's so easy to forget that we come in here and train for fun. No one's paying me to be here and lift weights. I do this because I enjoy it. Scars, we the ones who go to war against the guys. We the shadows that move around in the dark. Take your life back, take your time, look and fuck them to the trap. That was Big Friday. Like I said, this is for me um, a new challenge, a new goal that I want to do to bring you guys more content that's going to give you an insight into my life, some of the day to day challenges and you know, how I go about weightlifting, how I go about um, making it work with my life, what I want to achieve, and you know, getting across to you guys some of the key technical aspects that um, I want you to know that's gonna make you better weightlifters, it's gonna make you lift more weights, and I think like, even through everything that we went over today, like the key things that I take away from today was that, you know, installing in my head what I wanted to achieve from my training session, leaving my day-to-day -day life um, separate from what I'm doing in the gym. And when I'm there and when I'm training, really enjoying that moment and not forgetting that we're here because we want to have fun. And you know, I'm finishing my training session with a beer, okay? May not be the most uh, nutritious way to finish a training session, but we do this for fun at the end of the day and you know, we're celebrating what is, like I said, a new challenge for me and celebrating YouTube. Uh, I really hope that you've enjoyed this content and that you've got lots of stuff to take away from it. I'm gonna give you as much of my life as I can and give you as much of an insight into who I am as possible. And with the help of Adam, it's gonna look pretty sexy. So if you like the video, please hit the like button, please subscribe, and I'll be seeing you guys very soon for another treat.